Hey guys and girls, so welcome uh, to this sort of mini unboxing review. It isn't really an unboxing because as I'm showing you the box now, I already bought this. I bought this a few days ago, basically on Wednesday and it's now Saturday and I'd already finished the uh, by Thursday. So, it took me 12 hours to build. And she's a beast, as I will show you now. So As you can see, here is the MAN Tamiya Scale 114 truck. And oh, she is a beast. Like I say, it took me 12 hours to build. And I can say that it was very enjoyable to build. But it was also very stressful to build. I wouldn't recommend it to a beginner. Because... I come from England myself, and the manual is basically written in Chinglish. Now in England we call that Chinglish because it's Chinese English. It's not really English. It is, but it isn't. If you know what I mean. But anyways, as you can see, we have the 114 scale MAN or MAN truck from Tamiya. This is the TGX 18.540 of 540 whichever you want to see it's the 4x2 XLX it is a beautiful model to look at as well as to hopefully be driving it very soon but that's got to come yet because you don't get any receivers or even any electronics the only thing you do get as in electronics are the motor as you can see here I think it is a 55 turn motor it's got a free speed uh, gearbox, as you can see, low gear, second gear, and top gear. So, low, mid, and high, whichever way you want to see it. She has a beautiful truck, I'm very happy with her. Um, I've already installed a few servos and such things. She's got a Savox servo for the steering. Just a cheap old Lansu one for the gearbox. Uh, it's still got the original motor in. Uh, I have basically bought a DX6i yesterday, but I'm not sure how easy this is going to be to install with the receiver because it's an aircraft receiver and controller radio. <coughs> but I need four channels for this and I need the so I can change gear, so this is really, uh, I need to work this out, but as you can see, she's well detailed, scale realism, chucks even come out, you can use these if you want, like on the real truck, that's pretty much where they are placed as well on the real truck, um, just for the fun of it, we'll get the other one out, and I rarely pull the other one out, but anyway, well rarely, I only bought it a few days ago, Uh, and even as proof that I only bought it a few days ago, here we have the receipt, and uh, it won't focus, focus, but basically that's the 26, 26 of the 6, 2013, uh, I'm sorry that you can't really, this camera's shit, sorry about my language again, but anyway, but they had made a mistake, on the price, they sold it for me for 4 55 which was a mistake because they basically sold me the trailer. As you can see, it says container. It was missold because they t typed in the wrong number at the checkout. So I went yesterday and got my other 100 euros back, and in the end, it's cost me 3 50 something like that. Still a little bit more than a lot of average online shops, but this guy, well, it isn't an online shop, he hasn't got any online store. It's a shame really, 
Um, as you can see, I've still got to do some things on the inside. We have a pretty scale cab, cab what window wipers, even the front grille. I do need to paint this black yet, as you can see, so when I do, I will put MAN on here as well. And if you're wondering what that peeping is, the dog is sat there in the background, keeping an eye on the door, making sure no one's coming in to break in and steal my shit. Anyways, as you can see, she is very nice. I'm very happy with her. Already customised a little bit on the number plate. Haha, <laughs> with my name. But yeah, any questions really? I would love to answer them. I will try and answer them the best I can because really I'm quite new to the RC truck world. I have always wanted to get one myself. Basically my uh, my uh, nan's brother and dad had these, but the Weedico versions. But they're far too expensive for me, really. Uh, but yeah, since that, I've always wanted to get one, really. But as you can see, I still need to do some detailing, painting up. I have put a few of the stickers on already. There's not really much I can say. It's got rubber tyres with, with scale realism grip on them. Scale wheels. Um, you can install a lighting kit in these. And you can buy the Tamiya multifunction kit. So then you can make the fifth wheel and everything electronic so when you attach a trailer the lifting legs the legs come up by themselves because they basically make a connection through the fifth wheel but i haven't gone out for the full thing yet as you can see i have just got the the kit version at this moment and i haven't spent that extra 400 euros on a multi-function unit i'll just use my fingers for now and i haven't even got a trailer so it doesn't really matter too much so, as you can see, there's the chucks, and she is a beauty, I do love her to bits, like all my other RC stuff, I've got a lot of RC stuff, as you guys will know if you have sub subscribed to my channel, um, so yeah, as you can see, she's the red edition, so the body is pre-painted, because you guys might be thinking, well how's he done it in 12 hours, well the, it, the body's painted. So basically if you've got time, you haven't got kids in the way or other responsibilities that you need to take care of, you can sit down and concentrate on this and get it done within a weekend. You might think it's not possible, but if you haven't got nothing else to do, you could. I basically did this when I got home from work, till from 4 till 10, each night, and uh, yeah, it took me two days. I'm very happy with it. So just tell me what you think guys, and uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, all comments are welcome, even dislikes are welcome, I'm not going to complain about them, because at least, at least I know you're watching. So, like I said, if there's any questions, just give it right up, I haven't got a problem with that, and until the next time, from me as a 69, bye.